Workout regime. This is a question a lot of people ask about Alex is because it's hard to get started. It's hard to stick to it. You don't, you're overwhelmed and you have a busy life. So what can you do? So I want to know how many times a week do you work out? I mean, you're working with, you're, he's the owner of Ellen CrossFit. Ah! Uh, but how many times a week do you work out? I work out three to four right now. Okay. Uh, in basketball once, and right now I'm some on golfing. I'm kind of golf. Oh, you did? Um, that's been getting better. Yeah, I'm lucky. Mm, that's weird. I know. Um, so what three to times, three to four times a week yep. works for you? Is that something that you would recommend to most people who are probably even starting off? If you're starting, I try to tell people the frequency that you can sustain, say, for the next year is going to be ideal. Since is there a rule of thumb of how active you should be per day to kind of be healthy? Um, when you look at heart and stroke guidelines, mm -hmm. and we're going to have to Google this to be sure, okay. but there's about, I think it's about 20 minutes of vigorous exercise daily is ideal. Okay. Um, and again, that's better than notice how they say daily. They don't say doing this, you know do two hours one day and do nothing mm -hmm. for the rest of the time. So mm -hmm. if you can find a way, I really like on the little lemon bags, they have like a get sweaty every day kind of thing. Yeah. If you can find a way to get sweaty every day, that's actually the best way of doing it. And it doesn't say, it doesn't have to be an hour, it doesn't have to be a gym class, it doesn't have to be a whole routine. It can just be like going for a, a mm -hmm. quick brisk walk. Okay, so now you start working out three to four times a week. That's what I do too, three to four times a week. I'm happy if I get there in five times a week, but when I travel a lot, it's really difficult, but I try to do as much as I can. Uh, a lot of the discussion is to be able to go in there, give it all for whatever it is, 45 minutes to an hour. Yep. Uh, and some people are really tired. Yes. And so sometimes people take something for pre-workout. Yep. You take coffee. coffee. Black. And then I take something called um, C4 again. It's not sponsored, but this is what I use, a pre-workout mm -hmm. thingy majiggy. It makes my ears tingle, but I think this stuff helps to, um, you know, Helps Keep going. going. Yeah, the, the, so the tingle is beta alanine. Okay. It's a good workout thing. You can buy all these things. I mean, a lot of these things are compiled with things that you can buy on your own. It's just pre mixed for you. Okay. And again, if you're taking this in reasonable amounts, there's nothing bad about it. And again, if it gets you into the gym, that's what's most important. Right. Should you take anything? Should you eat before? Should you do anything before you get to the gym? I tell people it depends on what works for you. A lot of people have these questions about this one universal Tell me what to do! I want the secret key. Now you know, what is the secret key? Figure out what works for you. So, I tell people, some people do really well with having a banana in the morning. Some people do well with uh, coffee on an empty stomach. Yeah. Right? Something that digests easily is not going to be sloshing around in there. Um, I know for myself, I prefer having it working out on an empty stomach and I'm not hungry right after my Me workout. Me too, yeah, yeah. Um, during the workout, mm -hmm. I heard that this stuff is good for you, BCAAs and glutamine. Um, should you be having anything while you're working in and doing the heavy weights and doing the cardio? You totally can. Um, BCAAs, there's a whole bunch of studies that were showing that they were doing awesome stuff for you. Then there's a whole bunch of studies showing that they didn't really do anything for you. Oh. So at the end of the day, like, if it tastes good and you like it, no, you're supposed to tell me I'm supposed to take it. You have to take this. Okay. Must. With the glutamine? Glutamine is good for gut health. It's a good supplement. Um, don't particularly, again, supplements are not things that you need by definition supplement. If you take it, you notice it feel better. Gut health is probably the biggest benefit of, uh, or what do you mean gut? Gut health, like gut? stomach and your gut health. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's so like glutamine. It helps. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I should take this then. Yeah, you can totally take it. Yeah, so yeah. if you, if you like it. BCAAs, like I tell people like really they make water taste delicious. I've had some clients that switch to those like those uh, water flavor drops. Yeah. Um, which are way cheaper than this. So you don't need like it that. then. No, but this, I mean, this is blue raspberry, which just sounds delicious. Can I swear? Okay. After the workout. Yes. You should have protein. After the workout, protein. I prefer shakes. We agree on that. Yes. This is not a waste of money. No. Okay. I prefer shakes because I'm not hungry after workout. Yeah. Like I just said, as soon as I finish a workout, the last thing I want to do is actually eat food. Um, some people are hungry after. I find mm -hmm. after any sort of sport, um, from running around playing basketball or working out intensely, zero appetite. I'm just mm -hmm. thirsty. Protein shake comes in handy because if I don't have a protein shake after, fast forward an hour, I'm starving. Because I have had nothing. This Does protein place. help build the muscles? Protein helps you recover. Recover. From, what yeah, does that mean? Your muscles are built. So basically, when you're working out, you're creating these little things called micro tears in your muscles. Right. Um, especially for strength training, which is good because when they come back and they heal, they come back stronger. And in, in the time frame, it's you don't have to have it right away. You can have it. I try to tell people the next meal. The next meal. If you want to have it on your way home again, or if you want to have it right after workout, there's zero downside to having it right away. But don't feel that if you didn't have a protein shake within 90 minutes of your workout, that like, oh, I messed yeah. up and today's a waste. It's not. Yeah. 
Um, the Rock, for example, he does weight training in the morning and cardio at night. Mm -hmm. Should you be doing that? Should you be separating your weight training and your cardio or? You can. I guess what your, it depends on what your goal is, yeah. right? I yeah. mean, The Rock is one of the most dedicated people ever. Well, that case, you can't do that. <laughs> Why not? It's a rock. <laughs> you can do that. But he's really dedicated and committed yeah. to it, right? So like, yeah. if you follow his Instagram, he everywhere he goes, on set, on a press junket, whatever he's doing, yeah. he finds a gym and he's working no, out. No, he has his own gym. He travels with it. That's amazing. It's amazing. I hang out it's called the Iron Paradise. I've That's never amazing. been invited, but whatever. Right? So yeah. if you have something like that, so if you're traveling with your own gym and you yeah. have that availability, <laughs> <laughs> or you're somewhere and you want to dedicate yourself to that, that's 100% good. But workout regime, just get started, really. That's where it starts. I mean, I started after my second child. I didn't know, I kind of lost myself mentally. Mm -hmm. And I walked into a CrossFit gym, Alex's gym, and I started working out, picked up a weight. And I'm like, this is awesome. So find what you love and what makes you happy mentally and physically. And uh, if you have any more questions, uh, leave it down below, comments, and uh, we'll answer more questions. Thanks, Alex. Thank you. I'm happy.